Hi, in this video I am going to demonstrate how to use QODBC with ASP.NET. So first of all, start your QuickBooks company file. So for this demo, I will be using the sample company file. Login as admin. Alright, so I have already pre configured my ASP.NET site and I just have the connection string. It just pulls the connection string and fires the select statement for company, customer, or transaction. So let's get started with uh, connecting it. So before to that, just make sure you have Q Remote Server running. In my case, it is not running so I'll be starting the Q remote server you can also verify it from the task manager that Q remote server is not being running on any of the other users account so to be Q remote it's not running so I'll be starting it but by default Q remote server gets started automatically so for this demo purpose I'll, I'm going to start it manually And as you can see, we have Q Remote Server started. So Q Remote Server will be having an IP address listed, and we will be using QuickBooks Data Q Remote. That is QuickBooks Data Q Remote. So we'll be using Q Remote. Uh, product for connecting it to QuickBooks via QODBC. So let us also test that DSN is configured properly. So first of all we'll be switching to QODBC setup screen. We have all the default options. So this is good. Let us also configure the DSN that would be using. So by default when you install QODBC it pre-configures the IP address. So in case your Q remote server is listing a different IP address you need to change the IP address over here and just make sure that you are able to connect. So I'll be minimizing the Q remote server. Uh, let us let us keep that one open. And now let us test the connection. So that is as it is the first time I'm connecting via Q remote. It will ask for the permission. Continue. Okay. And it's connected onto the Q remote server you'll be able to see activities that are happening so in case you are facing some issue on to connection you'll be able to find it out whether the Q remote server is able to connect or not let us also test customers In case you have 64 bit IAS and you are running a, your application under 64 bit, you need to use the DSN as QuickBooks Data 64 hash bit. So that would be under Configure Data Source 64 bit will have the default DSN listed over there so 
so depending on to the architecture that you are using if it is an 64 bit or 32 bit select the dsn um, and let's get connected i hope this video helps thank you